Well, welcome to Tuesday Time with Pastor Emily. It is so good to be with you, as always. As we always do, we're going to light a candle, begin our time together, lighting a candle to remind us that God is with us everywhere, and therefore God is in this place with us right now. So let's light our candle. And let's do our candle ritual together. God's holy light surrounds us. Only good can come in. Only good can go out. Amen. And we'll take our candle and place it right here so it can be with us during this time together. Well, today we're going to read a story again from the Children of God Storybook Bible. And today I wanted to bring us into what's called the New Testament. I wanted to read a story about Jesus being baptized. And the reason I want to read this story today is because this past week, if um, we baptized a little baby. And so I want to read this story and encourage you to watch the baptism if you haven't already done so this week um, and, and talk about it and think about our baptisms and why they're, uh, why they're so wonderful. So here is the story, God Blesses Jesus. Jesus is baptized from Matthew 3 and Luke 3. Jesus' cousin John wore clothes made from camel's hair. John lived on locusts and wild honey. Wow, can you imagine? He was called the baptizer. That's why we call him John the baptizer. Because he was a holy man who called people to the river to wash them clean of their wrongdoing. God wants your hearts to be clean as well as your bodies, he told the people. Turn your cruelty into kindness, your selfishness into sharing. But how, the crowd asked. If you have two coats, John the baptizer said, share one of those coats. If you have one loaf of bread, share half of it. As he took them into the river, John said, I baptize you with water, but someone far greater than I will come soon. He will baptize you with fire and the Holy Spirit. Jesus came to the river and asked to be baptized. John said, no, Jesus, you should be baptizing me. Jesus insisted, this is God's plan. So John led Jesus into the river and baptized him. As Jesus came out of the water, he saw the heavens open and the Holy Spirit spread its wings over him like a dove. And a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son who fills me with joy. I love this story in a lot of ways, for a lot of reasons. First of all, John the baptizer is baptizing all of these people for the forgiveness of sins and for their wrongdoing. And when people said, well, how do we move, how do we turn away when we repent, when we ask for forgiveness for our wrongdoings, the things we've done to hurt others or to hurt ourselves, how can we change? What are we supposed to do? And John the baptizer said, when you have two, when you have uh, two coats, share one of those coats. When you have one loaf of bread, share half of it. What he means by that for the the uh, disciples and the people at that time, but also for all of us, is that when we have more than enough, we are called to share this extra stuff that we have with others. And so I'm going to ask you to find one way to share. Uh, this week. You can talk with your family about how you might share. Maybe it's with someone in your family, or maybe it's if you have extra um, toys or items or clothes, maybe you can go through your clothes um, or your toys and donate those toys or clothes to uh, an organization that needs extra. Or maybe it's money and you, you donate your money to an organization or to some people who might need it. The second thing that I love about this is John the baptizer was baptizing all these people and he was repairing the way for Jesus to come. And he said that Jesus is greater than I. 
And all of a sudden, in the midst of baptizing all these people in the River Jordan, Jesus comes along and he says, baptize me, John. And John couldn't believe it. He said, no, you're supposed to baptize me. I'm not supposed to baptize you. But Jesus said, no, this is God's doing. This is what God wants. I love this so much. Can you imagine if Jesus appeared to you and said, baptize me, serve me, help me. That's what Jesus is doing. Jesus wants us to help him in caring for and loving the world. I think that's pretty cool. The third thing that I love about this baptism is when Jesus is baptized, the voice from heaven, a voice from the cloud comes down. God's voice says, this is my beloved son. And in our Bible, even though it's not in this story, our Bible, God says, with whom I am well pleased. Jesus is God's beloved son, but so are we. We are God's beloved children. You are God's beloved child. Your siblings are God's beloved children. Your parents or your grandparents or your neighbors, they're all God's beloved children, and so am I. And when we baptize a baby or a kid or a teenager or an adult, some people get baptized when they're older, some get baptized when they're babies, we're reminded that we are beloved children. You'll hear if you watch the video, um, which I encourage you to do, of the baptism from this past week, that the baby, we were, I told the baby that you are a beloved child. And this is a reminder in our baptism. When we are baptized, we are reminded that we are God's beloved children. Or if we haven't been baptized in our birth, um, when we are born, we are given a name. So my name is Emily, but I'm also given the name God's beloved child. And so when you're born and when you're baptized, when anybody's born or when anybody's baptized, they are given the name God's beloved child with whom God is well pleased. So um, one of the other things I'm going to ask you to do when you're finished, actually right now if you're with someone, um, I'm going to ask you to do this now, but if you are not with someone, after you're finished watch watching this video and you have an opportunity to be with your family members, I ask you, to, or your household, people in your household, I invite you to do this as well, to remind them that they are God's beloved child. And, and you'll see in the baptism visit video that I mark the sign of the cross on the baby's head as a reminder that they are God's beloved child, marked with the love of God forever. And so I'm going to ask you to do that to anybody who's with you now or later, uh, anybody in your household. But I'm going to do this for you first. I'm going to offer you a blessing and then I'll invite you to offer a blessing to, to your family or to those who you are with. So, you are God's beloved child, marked with the love of God forever. Amen. So what you can say is, you are God's beloved child, and then you can say marked with the love of God forever and make the sign of a cross on someone's forehead in your household. So I'm going to give you a moment to do that now. So you are a beloved child of God, marked with the love of God forever. And later today, if you have a chance, uh, give this blessing to others in your household. So let's remember, as we remember our baptism and we remember that we are marked as beloved children of God, let's sing the song, Jesus Loves Me, This I Know. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, 
little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Let's sing that one more time. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and pray. So if you can get in a comfortable position, roll your shoulders and your neck. You might roll your shoulders back and maybe put your palms facing up like this to receive God's love and grace. You might put them on your lap or just hold them up like this. Let's take a deep breath in and breathe out slowly. And breathe in slowly, filling your lungs with the love of Jesus. And as you breathe out, try to release all the things that bother you today onto God because God loves you. Let's breathe in the love and the compassion of Jesus. And breathe out all the things that are bothering you and upsetting you today. Let's breathe in one more time the love of Jesus. Gracious and loving God, we thank you so much that you sent your son who loves each of us very, very much. Help us to remember that we are your beloved child, that our siblings and our parents and our neighbors and our classmates and our teachers are all your beloved children. Help us to treat them that way. Help us to share the things that we have extra of with those who don't have as much. And help us to love you, to love our neighbors, and to love ourselves. In your loving name. Amen. Let's do our close with our candle ritual to remind us that the love of God that we receive, that we breathe in, that we accept, that God offers us, is also offered to the world. And so we take this love and this light with us out to the world, to whomever we interact with, whether it's on the screen, if it's at home, if it's in our neighborhoods, wherever we are. So let's do our candle ritual together. God's holy light surrounds us. Only good can come in. Only good can go out. We take this light with us wherever we go. Amen. And as always, I'm going to bless you one more time. You are a beloved child of God, made beautifully and wonderfully just the way you are and in God's image. You are marked with the love of God forever. Amen.